Several major news agencies have pulled a new photo of the Princess of Wales released by Kensington Palace due to suspicions that it's been manipulated. Well, who better to ask about that than a member of her own family? Her uncle, Gary Goldsmith, um, has just been evicted from the celebrity Big Brother house. Um, let's have a quick look at what he had to say when he came out on Friday. I'm Gary Goldsmith, the uncle to the future queen of our country, Catherine Middleton. Will Kate be watching? If she is, they'll be behind the sofa, I guess. <laughs> I'm just fascinated in why you are here. Because I'm not that caricature that's portrayed in the press. It does bother me, the black sheep of the royal family. They call me a buncle. You heard, you heard of a buncle? No, I'm a bad uncle. I can show people that I'm not that person. I don't think he's that comfortable here. Just a little awkward. I'm a lot awkward. One day I was Gary, businessman, having a laugh with a great family and in a good place the next minute. I'm a, a national villain. I haven't had a chance to do what I wanted to do. Yeah. Gary! And Gary joins us now, fresh from eviction after a few days in the house. In your first interview with Late and Live, you said, I've had the best time, I went in with an agenda, and I've achieved it in five days. And I wondered, what was that agenda that you went in with? <clears throat> Thank you for having me. Um, the, the agenda was to try and change perceptions. So Of you? Of, of myself, yeah. People think of me as this, the black sheep and there's lots of baggage that follows me around. And Levi, uh, who I love, by the way, and, and Fern, gave me the opportunity to say who I really am and what my purpose of being in the house was. And they said that I'd achieved it. They changed... I had changed perceptions of, of the people in the house. Which, which I loved, and if I've had that, or even a smidgen of that impact on the rest of the UK, then, then that's the tick box, mission accomplished. Even though you were evicted straight away? I'm not a celebrity, so I'm, I'm not really part of that world. I've just got to have a, a little sneaky peek behind the, behind the scenes and let the professionals carry on inter entertaining the nation. Um, it's not my bag, I'm a businessman, but I got the opportunity to do something which is completely left-sided. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But If you're not a celebrity, why do you think you were in there? Exactly. I'm saying no to... to after being 50, I'm, well, I'm touching 60 now, I say yes to pretty much everything that comes um, comes past me. So, so I was give, afforded the opportunity, um, obviously, to share some goss about um, the fam, mm. and... I think I did that with respect. I think they, would, they trusted me to, to not put a foot f out of place. Um, Have yeah. you spoken to the family since you've come out? Because, of course, your sister is Kate's mum, yeah. Carol. Have you talked to her? No, not yet. Have it's, you tried it, to talk to her? Oh, it's been a whirlwind, so I haven't even had a, a chance, really, to, to, to speak to anybody. So you don't know how your uh, behaviour in the house has gone down with the family the number of times you mentioned Kate? Uh, apparently it was quite a lot. Um, but that, that was the one thing that people were asking of me because nobody knew anything else about That can't me. have been a surprise. No, I was, well, I was kind of prepared for it. It's, it's the one thing that would happen. I wasn't volunteering it. People were asking questions. So... And I was trying to be as honest and uh, forthright as I can. Um, th this photograph has emerged this morning oh. of... Uh, over the weekend, actually, of Kate. Does anything about it strike you as odd? Or were you as reassured as everyone was supposed to be? The purpose of the photograph is to show her healthy, happy, smiling with her children. The, the smiles on faces said it all for me. I thought it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. they, obviously, the family wouldn't be the ones to do the, any touch-ups. Mm -hmm. So if that's gone through some filter before it's gone out to, to the broader world, but they wouldn't be doing photo sh shopping themselves. But all I was looking at is the, the faces and the smiles and it just looked um, like a, a beautiful family that they are. And it looked really genuine as, uh, for the smiles on faces. And this whole sleeve gate thing, just leave it alone. When was just the last it. time you spoke to Kate? I spoke to Kate for ages. Ages is how long? Y years. How many maybe, years? Maybe a, a, maybe a year. So it, it, it's weddings and funerals, unfortunately. We don't really get to see that, them that often. Um, Pippa, more so. Um, James, more so, my godfather. Mm. 
and my sister I checked when uh, Kate was in hospital. I want to take you back to something you said uh, just at the beginning of the interview and also that you said in the house, and that is that you wanted to change perceptions of yourself. Yeah. Now, you didn't directly talk about that in the house, what that was about, but was that about your conviction for domestic assault? Ooh. OK. Um, there, there's, there's a whole... There's, there's, there are lots of things mm. um, that I'm regretful of. I, I try to live my best life, but I'm, I fail consistently. Um, that was a horrific episode. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two sides to every story, but ours was never heard. It was considered by the judge that um, both my wife and I were, were intoxicated, so they, they discounted everything we said, and they only listened to a taxi driver who sold a story. And it's best at that position to put your hands up. I am far from an innocent in that whole situation, mm -hmm. and I'm, I've regretted it for seven years, and I'm trying to do everything I can day by day to, to be a better person. I love my wife dearly. We're mm -hmm. still very much in love. Um, it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was a very tough period of time. And, um, yeah, it wasn't the best of me. One of the things about being a celebrity is that your life will be raked over. And mm. that is inevitably going to come up, yeah. isn't it? Over so, and over again. The, the headlines about me are from 20 years ago or seven years ago and the fake shake piece. Um, who, who had been apparently targeting me for two years to try and find something. So um, we were aware that all of this stuff would come up. And um, my wife and I talked, talked long and hard about me doing this because it almost had been sort of packed away. But if you... I want a different... I want my, my life to be different for my daughter. I want her to, you know, be super proud or more proud of me. But you did refer to this. You said in the opening video when you went into Big Brother, you said, I'm an absolute nightmare to live with. There's a reason I've had four wives. I mean, is the reason that you beat a wife up or is there another reason that you were alluding to there? Wow, Ed. Um, no, that, uh, that's... Uh, there was one thing that happened uh, seven years ago. This, I'm not a, a real wife beater. Right, okay. But, but thanks. For so, that. what is the reason um, that you were that you I'm, were? I'm, I'm just very. I'm I'm, a, I'm slightly selfish. Um, I'm, I'm a workaholic. I work seven days a week, and I still do. And I put, I generally put, uh, work first, and I should always put family uh, on the front foot. So that's what I'm doing. Do you think overall it was a good thing? to have been in the Celebrity Big Brother house. And do you feel now that you can go and do other jobs like this? No. Um, I'm not interested in the, the business of show. So that was never the case. It was an opportunity for me to show more people what I'm actually like. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why, when all of these things have happened to me, I've never lost a friend, I've never lost any business. People who mm -hmm. generally know me think, that, that is a caricature that's played out in, in the mainstream press. Mm -hmm. Of course, you had the opportunity to be yourself. Yeah. In The Crown, your sister Carol is played by an, an actress to a script. When you watch that depiction of your sister in The Crown, Kate's mum, who's kind of planning and scheming her daughter's um, uh, ascent, do you recognise that depiction? No, of it's, her? The, it's, it's as far removed from the truth as it could possibly be. Like, there's, there, there was a, a war room in Hungerford, where they're planning... Is exactly. that...? ..put Kate here, William would be there. The absolute rubbish. So, um, yeah, that's... It's, it, I thought my sister was um, slightly victimised in, in that. It was just... Mm. It was just mean. I thought the same. And you haven't spoken to your sister. Uh, you say it's been a whirlwind. You're now on national television. Is there anything you would like to say to your family this morning? Um, well, I love them very much, and I wish this whole thing about that picture looks beautiful, and, and they should be very proud of that. And um, my sister is... We're, we're very similar people. She's, um, she's an absolute rock star. So, uh, to my family, love you very much, really proud of what you're doing, and uh, Kate is an absolute treasure. So we're very lucky to have her. Gary Goldsmith, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, Gary.